Hey, this is John, Hidden Highways. Just, it's a uh, an evening time now. It's, um, I don't know what it's about, 7 o'clock or something. Anyway, I'm out here in the van, kind of doing a van build in my partially completed van, which is actually pretty comfortable and warm at the moment right now. Um, don't actually have the heater on. It seems like it was kind of warmer today. I'm kind of like, doesn't feel too bad in here right now, just with um, just the body heat kind of heating this up, you know. Anyway, I had a movie going while I was doing it, but I had to pause that because I figured, like, YouTube, even if I had it in the background, I'd probably pick it up and say there's copyrighted material or something, but it's a movie Interstellar, by the way, but anyway, um, I had kind of watched it before and wasn't enjoying it that much, but actually this time I'm watching it, actually enjoying it more, it seems like maybe, but anyway, I'm going to try to make this video just uncut, because that's part of the reason why, like, these videos never really get released, not many of them get releases, because it's like, always all this editing and then you never want to do it, so we'll just make this one a pretty candid one, so anyway, I'm sitting here in the van, and, um, Kind of working on this monstrosity here, which, um, you know, anyway, it's, um, and then I got Charlie here. Charlie's under the blanket. He's nice and warm under all these old robe here and this, some blankets and stuff here. And I kind of got things sort of organized here. I got, got a, this zipper bag thing I put across here and then, um, and then where I can put that controller for these lights. And so I can kind of go like this and just kind of. And that worked, and then I, I'm kind of think I'm gonna have this whole thing be kind of like a whole charging station. I got this, so for this, this um, cube in here, this Bluetooth cube. But then I also got this. Um, I put these speakers here too that can attach to like a, the regular 3.5 jack. Oh yeah, and here's all of my electrical stuff. It looks a little messy back there, but um, anyway, because like something like, for instance, like I think this computer doesn't have a Bluetooth, or I think I may have a Bluetooth, but it's not working. But anyway, I figure at some point I need, I might need something that hooks up to something other than Bluetooth and plus these are more power a lot more powerful than that so if I just wanted to get something louder there's my inverter in the corner um kind of clean that area up I kind of filled this area with spray foam and then kind of around that that cigarette lighter adapter we're gonna need to clean all that stuff up and um you know so like a lot of stuff in this van it kind of um kind of looks kind of sloppy but I think it'll kind of work and then a lot of things like this this roof looks kind of rough, but eventually I'll put some kind of cloth across that or something, some, make it look good, and then maybe, yeah, maybe across some of these areas. Um, I guess part of it is like maybe when I'm building this, not being real precise on stuff, you know, and then maybe it's just kind of being lazy, or maybe just I'm not good at doing it precise, but some of it's just kind of like fit these, kind of fit these boards together the best I could, these plywood, and just kind of like, you know, fill it in with some spray foam or something like that, you know, it's kind of like. <laughs> I guess that's what you do with certain things, you kind of, kind of get it in there and then kind of fill in the gaps with something else or something, you know, where it doesn't maybe, you know, fill in the, well, I mean, it's kind of like when you fit something together and you put caulking the caulking, because there's always some small crack that you can't quite smooth out, well, these are maybe those bigger cracks, you know? So, I got this thing here, it's kind of an interesting arrangement, where I took all the paneling off here, so, and then I glued this foam on the door and then in some spots I put like some screws through I might put actually I might put like some more screws and some more supports to these wood because I don't know how over time how long this how well this foam is really going to stick to metal I mean with um spray foam I mean not spray foam with hot glue and then um okay I got like a wall here of foam that I just put here but it's attached to something more solid so there's kind of like a certain amount of solidness and stuff and then a certain amount of um a certain amount of like you know the less solid stuff like this is mostly all styrofoam and then glued together and then with um to kind of make this corner piece here and then um yeah using like tons of this <laughs> probably using way too much of this hot glue and this that's pretty expensive and then some of these parts that i put spray foam and they kind of like kind of shaved it using this tool and then um anyway oh yeah but first just go back to this tv i think this is pretty cool how i just came up with this this laptop that goes like this and then um, it's attached with kind of like a bracket, and there's a couple of screws under here that just kind of like kind of went off when I did that. And then, um, anyway, so that's I thought that was kind of nice. And these two wires, I think it makes it a pretty strong platform. Oh, but I might as well show you too. This also flips down, so that flips up. And then, um, let's see, I had a need to come up with something better. Just I'll just put this piece of foam or something in here. Let's see, um, okay, um. I had, a, I had a specific piece for, I guess I need to come up with some 
something a little better to hold that in, like maybe like some pin that like sticks in there or something. Yeah, okay, something that that's always there because I had some other piece I was using, but I suppose it'll be alright. Just put it down like this. Alright, so this goes down like this. So now you can kind of see almost like the anatomy of the van. So what this whole wall is is kind of like a kind of like a thinner piece of plywood than like the piece of foam and then this um, thicker piece of plywood and um, and actually kind of put them and then just kind of put screws through there and um, one thing is I didn't really I wasn't trying to figure out exactly how to get it to just not go out to the edge so really what I did is I just like pretty much on all this type stuff just kind of put the screws through and then when in any place where the screw happened to come through then I just got an angle grinder and like shave it down like um, so anyway so this is like um but anyway oh yeah so I guess you notice I have this stove on here and then what I can do here I'm gonna come up with something like a wire that maybe either hangs on there to keep this from going down any further and then maybe it'll go. anyway so um and then I put the I'll put the can here I think I'm for now I'm just gonna use like those one pound cans for this um for the stove here and then because I do have a 20 pound tank in the back that I'm using for the for the furnace but that'd be kind of a pain running it all the way up here that'd be kind of like a little bit risky you know so and then in here I have like this little compartment here and then, and then this is a piece of wood that's kind of like there so it doesn't like so you could put store stuff in here and not like break the window by pressing against the window and then that window's got a like plastic dip on it you know so anyway okay sorry I didn't mean to I didn't want to go that far into describing the whole van right now I'm just going to describe what this night was about so I wasn't trying to do like a full van tour there. Okay, so anyway, so what I'm doing here, and this is a little bit strange what I'm doing, I guess, but um, so I'm kind of putting like these pieces of foam on here, gluing these on, and then putting the foam there, and then trying to get it to where. So, okay, the object is basically have this this door, um, all the metal be completely covered as much as I can. Obviously, I have to have a little bit of space here, for, so I, for this lock here, and then but have all that metal covered. And then um, I have a specific plan for this window, so I'm not going to mess with this one. And then have like down here this foam here. And um, I have a floor. Okay, this is a floor here. Can't really see that. But then up here is the foam. This is like some spray foam, and then it seems like it's pretty strong. And then, and then I glue some other foam in here. And then, anyway, so the idea is like when see how it kind of right now, it comes apart like that, and then it kind of like um, you know, closes that foam all kind of closes on top of each other, kind of forms like a pretty good seal and then like down there too you can kind of see how it's a little bit weird how to shape this but um it looks like it works so like that part kind of fits together like a key um okay you can see that um actually let's see if i can oh shoot i don't know if i can turn the flash on in the middle of this while I'm doing this but um actually oh i'll just turn the lights up this these lights actually go a lot brighter there you go Ooh, these lights go really bright it's almost like right as like a operating room or something but anyway um so you can see how these pieces kind of fit together like that so you know so these pieces kind of fit together like a key basically press together and then um and then these pieces kind of fit together too all this foam okay so i need to build this a little okay so once i get it to where it's all just one foam on one side and foam on one side all closing together and sealing making a nice tight seal um then what i'll have to do is i'm, I'm going to put something like um i got to figure out something to put like i thought maybe like some vinyl or something like that or um plastic some rubber maybe something to, on both surfaces to basically make kind of make both sides kind of waterproof so they don't absorb moisture and then also to where if like some water managed to get through that main seal because i think the actual like factory seal probably isn't completely waterproof on the bottom so anyway and then have it to where it'll kind of protect the stuff and then make it to where something something where it'd be kind of like like these pieces okay i need to i could maybe build this a little further out with foam or maybe i just get some kind of rubber or something in here like um just something to make it to where something kind of like squishy but waterproof maybe yeah like a rubber some kind of rubber strips that you could put weather stripping i guess is that basically what weather stripping is i never actually really used it but um Anyway, so it's all going to, and, and then you kind of have all this surface covered with something like that too, so it's kind of waterproof. And plus, if I put some, if I put maybe some kind of, maybe vinyl thing or maybe even some kind of fabric, but probably not fabric, probably more something like 
I guess vinyl is a type of fabric maybe type to glue, but not like a cloth, something that can absorb moisture, something that's like waterproof. Yeah, so it'll make this look kind of nicer. So it's just kind of a way of kind of fitting it together, you know. Um, and um, let's see. Okay, maybe I don't have any more. Oh, let us pause this and then we'll go back, continue a little bit. <laughs> 